this is something that we're going to see a lot more. You're going to see people purging on black people. You're going to see more of this. I'm sorry to say, and that we as black people, we are going to have to be vigilant against white supremacists. We're going to have to be looking over our shoulder. We're going to have to be checking our surroundings. We're going to have to be doing all of that. You no longer can leave your house and feel like you're just going to go shopping. You're just going to go to the mall. You're just going to go to the park without having a sense of urgency and and paying attention to your surroundings. I mean, me personally, I'm looking up and down. I'm profiling 18 year old white males to 40 years old. I'm profiling them. I'm looking at them. I'm checking them out. Just like a cop would profile a black person in the hood. I'm profiling white men. I don't care what, I don't, I don't care how anybody feels about it because I have to protect myself. I have to protect my children. I got to protect my family. I got to protect, look out for my brothers. This is something that is in them. This is a, a racism that is never going to go away. And black people need to realize that we don't live in a post-racial society. We don't live in a post-racial society where race doesn't matter anymore. Everything you're doing in America, everything you have to fill out has to do with your race. America is based off of racism. So to think that race will ever go away is just not going to go away. And you have to think about the psyche of these people. These are people that literally would get dressed up and go on family outings to watch black people hang from trees. Do you think that that evil just disappeared? That evil was passed down generational. Do you think the trauma from slavery disappeared? No, it's passed down generational. So you cannot think that that evil is no longer here. That evil still exists. And so you as a black person, as a black man, as a black woman have to be watchful. You have to be vigilant. Like they say, like some of y'all wasn't around when the, the terrorist attacks happened, but they used to say, be vigilant, right? Meaning look for terrorists. When 9-11 happened after, after that, they were saying, be vigilant. Well, black people, you have to be vigilant. You have to be vigilant when you're in the supermarket. You have to be vigilant when you're just going about your daily life. You can no longer leave your house and have the attitude that you're gonna come back to your loved ones because things like this could happen. So you always gotta keep that in the back of your mind. Another thing about this is, where's the stop black hate bill? Where's the hate crime bill for black people? In seconds, they came with a stop Asian crime bill. They showed videos of Asians being attacked and then next thing you know, they had a stop Asian crime bill. Nobody is going into a store shooting and targeting Asian people, but they have done that to black people. So why can't we get a stop black hate bill? Why can't we get a bill for that? I'll tell you why. It goes back to what I just said. The psyche of America is a place that has always been against us, right? They'll, they'll juggle stuff in front of you just to pacify you, but they'll never do it. And a lot of this stuff happens around election times. And even the, the conversation of reparations, you'll notice it comes around around election times. So they'll juggle these issues in front of our face just to keep us going and pacify us. But that should tell you something. We should have been had a bill that specifically uh, criminalizes or prosecutes people for doing harm to black people based on their race. And lastly, about this whole situation, which is a terrible situation, and I just wanna send my condolences to the families of the victims. It was an older black woman and it was two young black brothers. So that's a terrible thing to leave your home and not come back, to go shopping and not come back, to go to work and not come back home because some white supremacists wanted to murder black people. So lastly, when they talk about what about black on black crime, what you gotta remember is that people kill the people who they live in close proximity to. So usually if I'm black, I'm gonna get killed by a black person. If you're white, you're gonna, more, more than likely, you're gonna get killed by a white person. Asian, Arab, and it goes on and on and on. But they always bring this talking point out when 
white supremacists go and kill black people or when white supremacist cops go and kill black people, they bring that point out. Well, what about Chicago? What about this place? What about black on black crime, right? Well, it's normal for people to commit crimes against their own people. What is not normal is for one race of people to target another race of people. Now, we do have problems and issues with black on black crime, but two things can be true at the same time. We need to fix black on black crime, but also white on black crime or white on everybody crime needs to be addressed. And that is more like an act of war where you kill another people. It's one thing to kill your people, but it's another thing to kill another people based on their race, based on what they believe, based on their ethnicity. That's a whole nother ball game. So y'all can miss me with that shit because that's not going to fly. Not over here, not in black authentic truth. It won't fly. So this is the thing. The moral of this story of this video is that we have to watch our surroundings. We have to look out for one another. We have to realize that we don't live in a post-racial society.